Hello everybody. Um, the purpose of this video is going to be to show you how you can actually use Microsoft Excel to map to Zog files. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that on your toolbar you have the developer bar. If you do not have the developer bar, what you want to do is you go to File, in the, your Excel, you go to Options, you go to Customize Ribbon, and make sure that the developer tag uh, is checked and you click OK. So now we have the developer tab here. What you want to do is you go to source. Okay, so you click on source. And what the source is going to ask you for is it's going to ask you for an XML file. Okay, so I'm going to show you the example of the XML file that we're going to use. In this case, it's a project XML. Okay, one critical thing that you want to make sure is that you have more than one tag. So in this case, you notice I have the projects and I'm going to be mapping data to the project element so I want to make sure I have at least two okay if you have only one Excel isn't going to consume it correctly and it isn't going to display correctly okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I'm going to click down here on XML maps okay and I'm going to say add okay when I say add I'm going to navigate to where that XML file is and I click OK so you notice here, it builds the XML schema for you on, on the, on the right-hand side. So what we want to do is we want to take the part that we want to map to. So we don't want to map any of the header stuff because that stays static. But what we want to map is everything that's inside of the project tag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this and I'm going to drop it in cell A1. Okay. So you notice that it actually puts all of the data in here. Now what I want to do is I'm going to come and I right click on any one of these cells and I go to XML and I'm going to say refresh XML data and I click OK. So here it brings that data that was in that XML file. Okay. So let's say we wanted to create. So now all you need to do is really just create the new records that you want. So here I'm just going to drag and drop so I can basically fake a copy paste of adding some new records and here you can see that we basically added a whole bunch of new records let's say I'm ready to generate my XML file so I come back to the developer tab okay and I click on export and here I'm just gonna click Zog ready project and I click export and that's it so if I come back and I open this file up in, in Notepad or Notepad++, you can see that basically it generated a line right, for each one of the projects that I just created. So that basically shows you how you can utilize the power of Excel to map data automatically into Zog files. Now once you have your XML created, you can simply just take it, copy it, Okay, and you can go to our Zog client and go execute Zog request. We're going to put in the URL. And you can paste it in here and run the XML. Should be all you need to be able to generate and build your XML files and Zog them directly into Clarity. I hope this was useful and thank you.